Most of the things I'm hearing is my paddle going in and out of the water and the splash that makes, especially depending on the force I'm using. This morning when we went down to Alderbrook Lagoon, I had two friends with me and it was the first time I had launched out of there, but it was a perfect spot for them because the water was so calm. Moving to Astoria, it was pretty clear, you need to get a kayak. And then I heard the Maritime Museum was offering a boat building class. So I took a week off of work to start building this kayak. I think it increases the amount of joy and it makes for a better experience because I value the vessel so much more. I don't take it for granted thinking, oh, it's this fiberglass piece of junk I can drag through the rocks. There's a different experience level with it when you spent months of continual effort working on it and shaping it to make it just right for you. <laughs> the people of Astoria are amazing. You have fishermen and loggers. You have some very extreme recreational enthusiasts. A lot of surfers, a lot of kayakers, a lot of paddleboarders, hunters. There is something for everyone. You can't come to Astoria and not fit in or not belong. After a long, rough day on the water, I'm craving an IPA and then normally a cheeseburger. Even though we're surrounded by seafood, you would think I'd want that, but I just want a cheeseburger. The breweries here in town are amazing. Most of the time, I'll head into Bowie Beer because I love their Bowie Burger. Or I'll head over to Fort George and I'll get a pulled pork sandwich with an IPA. From my house, I'm two minutes to get to water on both sides of me. <laughs> and then two more minutes to unload and actually be paddling. So being able to launch that quickly for me, it makes the story just a little bit more special of a place. Yeah, it almost creates the full circle of what you're looking to do here in Astoria, working, living, and then for me, playing. It creates this perfect balance of life.